Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to look at making post requests via HTML forms. Now, in the previous video we created our very first post route. Uh, it was pretty simple. All you had to do was use post instead of git inside of our app.js. It's pretty much the same as the git routes. The only difference that we've explored thus far is the fact that it's the HTTP verb that gets sent. Whenever a git request to slash books is sent, it will run this route. Whenever a post request to slash books is sent, it will run this route. So the first step is going to be to open up our views directory and look at our books.ejs HTML file, and we're going to add a form right inside of here. Now the purpose of this form is going to be able to add a book to our list of books. So just for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and run our app so we can see it. So let's cd into week 9, and then into, what do we call it, intro to posts. And no daemon, app.js, and it's running. Let's go get our URL, open that up, let's just open it. Right now it's welcome to my page, but we want the slash books. And right now we're getting the three books that I have in, in that route. And you'll notice the route is just a const right here in those are the books. And it is passing the books into that EJS form. And the form is using a for each loop inside of these EJS script tags to actually render that um, each of those LIs. So each of those LIs are rendered by this for each loop. What we want to do is to be able to add a little form right here down below to add a new book to this list and have it added to this list. So what we're going to do is underneath the UL we're going to add an HTML form. And let's go ahead and add an input. And we want this input type to be text because this is where the um, you're going to put the title. Input type is text. We'll have placeholder of book title and let's go ahead um, and give it an autofocus but we also need to give it a name so name equals uh, let's call it title and this can be anything we want we make this up but this is what, how we're going to um, access this data on the back end and then let's add a button to submit it the type is going to equal submit and then the text inside that button is just going to be submit. Now, Google Mighty E helpfully, quote unquote, split that onto a second line. I like to have it on the same line just to keep it simple. Let's save and refresh our page, and we should see this form. Yep, right here. So, test, and if we submit that, nothing happens right now. We can submit anything we want, but nothing's going to happen other than up here in the URL, it's going to have that key value pair of title and whatever we put in there. So, if I come in here, and put test again, you'll see the test is up there in the URL. Now that's not the behavior that we want. So up here in form we have to add a couple things. The, we have to add two things. We have to add the URL that it will submit to and we have to add the HTTP method or verb. So we're going to do action and action is where you put the URL. We want, we want this to submit to slash books and the method is the other one and we want that to be post. So let's save, come here and refresh, and if we submit it now, test, we'll get the books post route. And that is exactly what is supposed to happen, because whenever you send a post route to books, you get the response books post route. That's how we know that we hit the post route. By adding those to um, this form right here, by adding the action and the method, we changed what happens when the form goes. If I change this to git, if the method is a git request, and I so let's refresh the page, and I submit test, it'll just take me right back to this page because that's exactly what we expect because the git request, the git method for books, is a, where we already were. So we don't want that to be git though. We want this to be post, refresh, and test. And now we're hitting the post route again. So that's exactly what we want. That's what we expect. In the next video, we're going to use a um, NPM package called Body Parser to get the data from this form so that we can actually do something with it on the background and use it to actually update our data. In this video, we made a form to get data from the user. This form allows us, let's go back, this form allows us to get some data, some input from the user, and to use that on the back end. Now, as of right now, we're not doing anything with that, but 
we will in, in the future. In order to do that, we added our form right here and um, the input with a button, with a submit button. The name of this input is very important because that's the variable we're going to use on the back end. And in order to actually make this form work, we gave it an action and a method. The action is the relative URL, and the method is the HTTP method or HTTP verb, such as get or post. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.